Hey Virgo, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and welcome to your monthly reading for October 2016. Um, I want to say Halloween is coming up. I'm a big, big fan of Halloween, so I will probably be using my spooky Halloween filter on this video. The other thing is I am using a new spread this month. And it is called the planetary spread. It consists of eight cards. You've got a card for the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and there's an outcome card. I think I'm going to try to approach this a little bit different than I approached the previous videos because I think some people got confused and Believe it or not, I'm an astrologer first. That's what I started with, was, is astrology. So, a lot of times I, you know, incorporate astrology into my readings. And it's kind of like when you know two languages and you speak them both um, pretty frequently. And sometimes you can find yourself switching up between languages in the middle of a conversation or in the middle of a sentence even. And I feel like maybe sometimes I'm doing that. I want to see if I can simplify it a little bit, but, you know, I, I can't promise, but, all right, Virgo, let's get started. So, the sun card represents the self. What we have for the self, so Virgo, this is going to be who you are for the month. We have the three of swords. For the moon placement, the moon rules the home. It rules the subconscious. It rules uh, what makes you feel safe and comfortable. Uh, talks about the past and the mother or the maternal figure. The next placement is the mercury placement. And for the mercury placement, we have the justice card. Mercury rules communication, it rules our conversation, our intellect, the way we express ourselves. For the Venus card, which is our love, uh, this can be representative of money, the things that we find beautiful, the things that we are attracted to. We have the world card in the Venus position. And the Mars position. Mars rules our physical movements, our actions, our desires, passion. It is literally how we get up to go get a drink of water. Without Mars, we don't do that. Mars also rules sex, hostility, aggression. Uh, it can also rule the physical body. I'm going to try to leave the astrology part out of that. Moving on, moving on. Okay. In the Jupiter position, Jupiter rules the uh, finances, acquisitions, spirituality. Uh, Jupiter is what we consider the good luck planet. Jupiter tends to expand things. Sometimes Jupiter expands things that we don't want it to expand. Uh, like our waistline or sometimes the situation can be uh, you know where a situation may have been just a little um, stressful if Jupiter's around you know Jupiter's trying to uh, give us greatness but sometimes you know Jupiter can stick its nose in business that it doesn't need to stick into an enhanced thing that we don't want enhanced I'll use a, a, a simpler example traffic if Jupiter has anything to do with you just riding down the street and getting from A to B without any trouble, if Jupiter is around, Jupiter may uh, increase traffic. However, you might just be happy going through traffic. It may not bother you so much. You know, that's Jupiter is really going to soften the blow with anything. And I'm sorry. In the Jupiter position, we have the ten of coins. Wow, and I really don't know 
if it gets any better than that in the Jupiter position, and we'll get back to that in a minute. In the Saturn position, we have the Eight of Swords, and as the outcome, the Two of Cups reversed. So we've got one major arcana, no two, I'm sorry, the Justice card and the World card. And we've got one uh, court card. So the things that are going on with you this month, Taurus, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, um, it doesn't seem to involve a lot of other people. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Got three coins and two swords. So we're definitely talking about money, resources, uh, possibly sex, and communication, and possibly conflict with the swords. The coins are going to to be about the resources. The I'm sorry, the report the, the resources, the money. Uh, the physical relationships with other people, the coins are going to be about all things earthy and practical because the coins rule Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then with the swords, like I said, with communication and conflict, the swords are, you know, all things communication, intellect, thought, and it rules the air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So that's kind of the overview. So to get started with the self, Virgo, we've got the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is a heavy card. It rules under the energies of Saturn and Libra. Saturn likes to restrict things. Saturn is restrictive, and Libra is a cardinal energy. So Libra likes to move forward. So that's kind of a conflict in itself. And I'm speaking of Saturn and Libra, which is the energies that rule this card. Now the swords are about conflict. The three of swords generally suggest that there is some heavy conflict. Or, or, or some heavy, maybe hurtful, painful thoughts. There's something going on. Usually, the Three of Swords is about deception. It's about lying. It's about people talking behind your back. It's about infidelity. This can also be about um, separation from a loved one. More specifically, this card can talk about a mother being separated from her child for one reason or another. Now, it doesn't have to be um, a, a negative separation. This could be a child that has maybe gone away to college, you know, or gone to the reserves. Maybe they've gotten married and moved away, but either way, it is a hurtful situation um, for the mother. And it, it doesn't always have to be the mother, but this can specifically be about a mother being separated from her child as well as the other things that I spoke about. So, Virgo, like I said, somebody is being deceived. This is the way I see this. Um, somebody's being deceived. If this is in the realm of relationships, there's a third person. Virgo, since this card represents the self in this situation, I'm feeling like you are the third person. There may be something going on that you don't know about. If you're involved with somebody else, there may be another person. In this part, you may not be the primary partner with this being the self card. With the three of swords, you often see that somebody's trying to come between two other people. Now, either this is you this could be you know somebody else trying to come between you and your partner but like i said with this being in the position of the self virgo this could be you this month you may not even know that you're coming in between 
uh, um, somebody and their partner because somebody may be deceiving you somebody may be lying to you about something maybe you don't know all the details the other thing is you do know all of the details and you're uh, you heard about it you butt hurt your feelings are hurt your heart is broken somebody has stabbed you in the heart because this could be about you being separated from somebody that you love possibly because somebody or something came between you like I said that there can also be gossip backbiting I mean just somebody running back and forth between you and another person let me stop too because I, I feel like I keep saying Taurus and let me reinforce that this is a Virgo reading if I said Taurus Virgo I'm so sorry I don't know why I keep thinking about Taurus anyway um, so let's move on for a second the card that's going to talk about what's going on at home what's going on in the private sector of life what's going on with your feelings and emotions and the things that make you safe is the four of coins security it looks like you have security at home Virgo looks like you are doing the things that you need to do in order to keep your home uh, running uh, at optimal performance looks like you are like I said concerned about your security that you make efforts to keep yourself and your family secure you've probably got some savings you're probably a very conscious about how you spend your money and use your resources in the home this month so in the home I feel like as far as uh, as far as uh, being financially secure you're okay there you could be being a little tight actually dare I say cheap I know some people don't like that word but maybe uh, you could stand to loosen up a little bit Virgo and I know Virgo is a very practical sign trust me I, I deal with a lot of Virgos so I know Virgos can be very practical and sometimes to the point where they may be being a little tight uh, the other thing with the fourth coin since this is taking place in the home in the private sector if you are in a relationship with somebody there could be some obstacles or some restrictions around that physical relationship right now okay in the position of your communication the way you communicate with other people, your level of expression. Hmm. I'm sorry, I just noticed something with the coins and the three of swords. Before I go on with the justice card, I told you the three of swords it, it could be about um, infidelity. And I talked about maybe there are some, and at home, maybe there are some restrictions uh, physically. If, if there is somebody that's involved in an extramarital affair, you know, a, a side relationship, it may, if you have somebody at home, it may be keeping, or if that person is involved in an extramarital relationship, you know, extramarital affairs or, you know, extra, whatever, it doesn't have to be marital, you can just be boyfriend and girlfriend, but it really could be putting a bit of uh, some restrictions on the physical relationship that you're having with one another because, you know, maybe there is somebody else for you or the other person. Okay, so back to the way you communicate, the way you deal with people, uh, the way you think about things, you have the justice card. So it, it seems like here, in the, the, the way you're thinking about things are, are pretty balanced and fair. This operates under the energy of Libra. 
Now, the court cards I said before often represent other people, but it can also be a projection of, of your own energies. I also sometimes see the major arcana as other people that you may be dealing with. So, Virgo, you could be communicating. You could be uh, exchanging thoughts, ideas, uh, expression with a Libra. Or you are uh, operating under the energies of Libra, which is fair and balanced. But sometimes uh, Libra has difficulties making decisions because it doesn't want to rock the boat. This could also be, though, about being too judgmental. It could be about, you know, just you thinking that you're right all the time. Now, I'm feeling like with the Three of Swords, for those of you who have been separated from somebody, the thought about it may be weighing you down and making you feel bad and hurt, but it looks like with the Justice card, you made the right decision. You, you expressed yourself in the right way. You did the right thing. You may be beating yourself up about it, but whatever it was that happened, if this is about you and another person or two other people, it seems like you actually did the right thing. Even if you are, you know, judgmental and always thinking that your way is right, I kind of have to say that this time your way, Virgo, was right. You dealt with this in a fair, just, balanced manner. Whatever this is, if there's a situation between you, you and somebody else, you seem to uh, have made the right decision about it. In the Venus position, which could, could be a lover, you know, and it's about the way we give and receive love. It's about the things that make us comfortable, the things that we find beautiful, the things that we are attracted to. You have the world card. So, based on what I just said about what you may be thinking about, how you may be feeling about a situation, even if you are beating yourself up about it, if you feel hurt about it, and I said before, you've made the right decision. All of this happened because you were coming to the end of a cycle. Something was completed between you and that person. And even though it may feel bad to you, the cycle has been completed. You've made a full trip around the world you've come full circle it may not feel good but it may have been very necessary so here's another reason that if you are uh, beating yourself up about a decision you made that has possibly separated you from somebody you love understand that that is the end of a cycle it was bound to happen and this is major arcana so these are things you can't change so really, uh, I guess what I'm saying is there's really no need to fret about it or to keep beating yourself up, down, and sideways about whatever has happened because it was going to happen anyway. It was the end of a cycle. On the flip, let's say, Virgo, that you are the third person in a relationship. Sometimes being the third person in a relationship is the positive part of the three. I, you know, I hate to say that, but that's just real. There are many situations. Let's talk, An well, that didn't end well. Maybe that's not a good example, but, uh, you know, let's talk Angelina and, and Brad Pitt. When they hooked up together, they were part of a threesome. And I don't mean that literally, but take it how you want it. Um, and, and for 12 years, if I'm not mistaken, Angelina and Brad had what we thought was, you know, a great relationship. And I'm sure in the beginning... They did. So what I'm saying, Virgo, is even if you are the third party in a relationship, oh my God, and I, <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. So don't be mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. But what I'm saying is really, it could be great for you. It could be great for you because this is in the Venus position. And this is the things that we love and the things that we find attractive, the things that make us feel safe, the things that we're attracted to. So with the world card card here, this is saying that, you know, you have the world at your feet. As, you know, aside from me talking about com 
completing the cycle in the other situation, this is, you know, hey, I've come from A to Z. I've come full circle. Tens are about completions. And if this is with the lover, now you could have completed a cycle with this person that you're separated from. Like I said, it could be a lover. Or this really could be a good thing about you and your lover or whomever makes you feel safe and comfortable. Whomever you may be attracted to right now. You guys may be standing on top of the world together. Okay. The next card is in the Mars position. And like I spoke of before, Mars is about our physical action. It's how we do things. It's our, our passion, our desires. It's sex. It's hostility. It's aggression. We've got the Queen of Coins. So, this card is ruled by Taurus. And maybe that's why I kept saying Taurus earlier because I was looking at the Queen of Coins. Virgo, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. And this is a person who knows how to uh, manage their money. They're practical. They're, they're smart with their resources. This is somebody who probably keeps a very beautiful home. Uh, she or he probably looks really nice whenever you see them. They are... Um, um, they put a lot of energy into the home because it's like I said before I think in, in one of the other videos I think it was the Taurus video when the queen what the queen of coins feels like if the home is beautiful and, and safe and secure and, and, and well provided for then whomever is in the home can go out and, and conquer the world <laughs> hence the world card be who they want to be, do what they want to do, and do it successfully because they come from a secure home base. Now, Taurus, in this, uh, Taurus, Virgo, in this case, I do, I feel like this is you. I don't feel like that this is another person. And the reason I said that is because we talked about the four coins earlier, and I said I feel like, you know, you, you got home up and running like a well, well oiled machine. And since the Queen of Coins is someone who does put uh, so much into the beautification of a home, into the security of a home, the comfort of a home, the safeness of a home, I feel like this could be you because you're knowing how to handle your stuff this month, Virgo. Now, the other thing I'm feeling, too, is that maybe uh, if something has gone on well, where you have gotten separated from somebody, where something's going on between you and somebody where you're feeling hurt and beat up and beat down, you have decided to put all of your energies into making your home front safe, into making your home safe, into uh, um, making the home your fortress, you know, the place that you escape to and run away to because the world may have gotten too much you're putting your energies into that maybe so that you, you know, either don't have to think about the drama that's going on or, you know, just so you feel like you have a safe place to go, like I said, when the world has become too much. In the Jupiter position, we have the Ten of Coins. Like I said before, Jupiter, it likes to expand things. It's the good luck planet. And the Ten of Coins is about the ultimate fulfillment. If, this, if, if we talk about money, the Ten of Coins means you are feeling fulfilled and satisfied as far as your resources are concerned. So we go back to the Four of Coins because we talked about this being you know, savings, you being practical, holding on to your money, knowing how to spend it, knowing how to use it. And because of that, and you're the Queen of Coins too, no doubt. So, because of that, you've got financial fulfillment. You feel secure. You have what you need um, as far as your resources are concerned. I think the problem is, Virgo, is not necessarily with your resources. The problem is in your relationship. Now, the next card that we have in the Saturn position is the Eight of Swords. 
And this is under the energy of Jupiter and Gemini. The Eight of Swords makes us feel, if you can see this, looks like a young lady right there, and she's in this bubble. And you've got those swords that are trying to pierce that bubble, but she can't escape. The swords are about thoughts, communication, conflict. Eights are about power struggles. And that's what I feel in this case this is about. There's a power struggle with somebody. There's some stuff that uh, Virgo has got you feeling like you can't escape your own thoughts. But like what I told you earlier as we came around with the Justice card, you've made the right decision. You're doing the right thing. Whatever's going on, Virgo, I really don't feel like this is about you this month. I don't feel like this is about you having made the wrong choices or the wrong decisions. But for whatever reason, you feel like you have. To add insult to injury with this card already being a heavy card, this is in the Saturn position. And Saturn is about restrictions. It's about obstacles. It's about delays. Saturn also... Um, it makes us responsible adults. It makes us follow the rules. It makes us stick to, you know, set procedures. But Saturn is not a fun energy and it's not always a comfortable energy. So, like I said, we've already got a restrictive card here in a restrictive position. So, you are really um, feeling like, Virgo, that you can't escape your own thoughts. And it was funny to me as I looked at this spread to see the justice card on one side. If you could see how this spread was laid out. And then the eight of swords on the other side. They are directly across from one another and they meet for two different things. So Virgo, you could be going back and forth. There are some days where you may be saying, okay, okay, yeah, I did the right thing. I made the right decision. Okay, no sweat off my back. But then you may turn right around and feel like, oh my God, what did I do? And you're feeling, like I said, with this three of wands, you may be feeling really beat down by something, by your thoughts. You might be really, you know, kind of feeling bummed out and sad about something. And I feel like that this has to do with a relationship. The separation from somebody with this two of cups reversed as the outcome card now this could doesn't have to be necessarily your lover this could be a child like I said before or, or, or not a, not necessarily a child chronologically but this could be you know somebody that is your child your offspring or you know or adoption whatever somebody that you love so much that you feel like they are your own child if they're not your own child so we talked about that. So I was saying that, that, that oh gosh, that it doesn't have to necessarily be somebody who you have a, uh, a sexual relationship with. We always make that mistakes when the that mistake when the cups come up, and these relationships don't have to be sexual. Nonetheless, things aren't you know going quite as you feel like they should in a one on one relationship with somebody. This could be a business partner. This could be a friend. Uh, this could be, like I said, a, a, a sibling, a child. And before I just finish that thought with the Justice card in the Mercury position, and you know, I know I'm speaking probably two different languages in one sentence. Uh, Mercury rules siblings, cousins, people in the neighborhood. So, one way or the other, whatever has gone on, has gone on between you and somebody that you're close to, Virgo, that I really feel like this is not your, your run-of-the-mill person where you're running through the neighborhood or walking through the neighborhood and you just speak, hey, Shirley, I don't think that's this person. I think this is somebody that you're close to, somebody that you have feelings for somebody that you care for very much but um, things haven't 
really gone quite the way it's planned. One minute you feel like you made the right decision, the next minute you don't. But as of right now, there seems to be some sort of separation between you and somebody you love. There seems to be some sort of conflict between you and somebody you love. Um, your thoughts, your, your feelings are turned upside down because of something that is going on between you and somebody that you care for, that you have a close relationship with. And I'm feeling like as a result, you may be putting all of your energies. It's like, okay, man, forget the relationship thing. I'm going to concentrate on what counts. And, and for Virgo, uh, 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 safety and security counts. You may want to pretend that this relationship didn't count. Put all your energies into making sure that the home front is stable and secure. But really, you're really, really probably being bothered by something that has gone on between you and somebody. So Virgo, that's the way I see it. Let's look towards November for some changes. Let's hope we can turn that two of cups upright. I want you to remember, though, Virgo, that um, you more than likely did the right thing. You made the right decision. You gotta find a way to not be restricted by your own thoughts and ideas about what has happened. Okay? So I hope to see you guys again next month. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Bye bye.